Track-like thingies. This is chapter 16 in the various types of anomalies on Earth's surface. And these tracks are in the Phrygian Valley in Turkey. However, before I even dig into examples like these, and these, and these, and this, and this type of thing in Arizona, and this one in Bolivia, before I even discuss specific examples, I want to give you the main takeaways, just to save you some time. They are not wagon or cart ruts or foot trails or carved by hand. They are not actually left by a legitimate vehicle of any kind, not even a high-tech one. So what I'm saying here is, yes, they look like tracks in many cases, but certain aspects of them hint that they are not, in fact, tracks. And I will qualify all these statements in the next video. They are not indications of any purposeful activity by some lost ancient civilization wielding advanced machines, mining, etc. So there's the idea of lost ancient high technology, or of like the Atlanteans, or somebody, some high civilization, doing some type of activity for some practical purpose of theirs. And they had advanced machines at their disposal, advanced knowledge, advanced technology, advanced spirituality, all that. And then these tracks are like remnants of some of their exploits of some type. But I'm saying that is not the case. That would fall under the category of purposeful activity. But I am saying the tracks are not byproducts of any purposeful activity by any legitimate civilization. And again, I'll qualify these statements in a later video. I'm just telling you the cliff notes of what I think. And obviously this is all just my opinion, but this is my conclusions after looking at a lot of these tracks and a lot of other stuff and just connecting the dots the best way I can. So they are just gibberish patterns with somewhat arbitrary details, most likely designed to discombobulate or perplex. And this would be the main takeaway. It is not 100% gibberish, pure nonsense or chaos. That would be too obvious. Rather, it is a carefully calculated melding of styles, which achieves a bewildering effect. So if it were just totally random gibberish, then it wouldn't look like anything, and that wouldn't achieve the discombobulation or bewilderment or perplexing. So it's some gibberish, and it's quasi-chaotic, quasi-silly, but it also looks mostly functional, mostly intentional, mostly purposeful, but it's mixed in with silly nonsense in a melding or a blend. Features are combined in a deliberately mismatched manner so as to paint an unsolvable mystery. The incoherent history of these sites is intentional. They are explicitly designed to defy explanation. Or at the very least, I would say they are designed to paint a false explanation or possible combine multiple layers of potential explanations. Like you might see features at a site which suggest one age and origin story of a site and then another feature at the same site which suggests a different age of the site with a different origin story and different construction method, different agenda behind the site or different purpose for the site, uh, etc. So all these things are like a magnet with misaligned poles. So the features are misaligned by design to point to different possible explanations. Any tool marks or traces of construction method are feigned or phony. So when you see these tool marks, such as at Arizona, um, so these round features here and up the middle here, these suggest some type of vehicular byproduct or something functional or intentional or the byproduct of some type of practical work or operation. However, what I'm saying is uh, these features are fake or phony. So 
they're put there as like little decoys or phony tool marks. Same with this. I think this is maybe in India somewhere. I'm not quite sure, but we would suspect that this is like a tire track or something, but I'm saying it's a faked tire track or a faked track like pattern, but it's not an actual track. It, this is not from an actual vehicle going over the wet stone or whatever we might suppose. It's a imposed pattern which resembles a track, but isn't one. And same thing here, this railing along the side, or looks like it could be a scrape mark or some type of byproduct of vehicular transport or transit of some kind, some type of construction device perhaps, or mining device. But what I'm saying is this is one of those false features which deceptively points at a false explanation. So we might say that the explanation for some type of industrial activity happening here is framed or takes the blame for this tool mark uh, or this feature, but that's not what caused this feature. This feature was caused by, well, I'll get into that in one second. Yeah, so when you see stuff like that, that suggests a particular construction method, even a, a cryptic one, um, they're generally feigned. And I would amend this a little bit to say that the unsolvable mystery aspect... Okay, so to create that unsolvable mystery, you might have... Uh, some fake tool marks and you might also do some real ones not that you would need to necessarily that might be overkill but these could be potential vehicle tracks from actual weird strange vehicles however if that is the case I would say the deliberate deception or deliberate nonsense aspect of it still holds so in other words these aren't tracks from legitimate activity going down, rather they are tracks created to generate mystery. So one could imagine just sending out a fleet of derpy, silly vehicles to make strange patterns in the landscape. And you might give these vehicles a whole bunch of weird idiosyncratic capabilities and uh, pattern making abilities so that would create a strange mystery which we cannot solve okay however I don't think you would need actual vehicles because in my opinion the tracks were made by technology which is capable of creating any pattern in any medium the stone was cleverly configured to make it appear as though something else was responsible so they might create patterns which make us suspect that nature is responsible, so it's a mostly natural looking feature, or we might see very strictly track-like patterns, so that would make us suspect it's some type of vehicle, or we might see tool mark patterns, uh, markings or scrapes, and that might make us suspect that tools were involved. However, I think we're dealing with some type of advanced technology which can just impose any pattern on anything and some of the patterns it creates are fake tool marks, fake tracks patterns, and mimicked natural patterns which aren't actually natural. So in this case for example, I think this is in Spain, we would obviously suspect that some type of advanced vehicle went blasting through the stone here, or perhaps a channel of magma or something, but, uh, and again, not carved by hand, it's not like a Roman road or something like that, although it may be branded as one, or classified as one, but the general look and feel of it, that something barreled through here, through the rock, as if the rock were wet, I'm saying that general feel and look to this is falsely manufactured. So 
a vehicular explanation for this type of scene is made to take the blame in a sense. So we are made to think that this might be some type of vehicle uh, if we're even sharp enough to pick up on the fact that something's not quite right here. <laughs> However, it's something which cleverly made a pattern which looks like it was created by a vehicle. And it also has derpy variations which add to the mystery. So this is just a deliberate mystery with a 90% probable explanation, the vehicular one, and then it probably also has some strange variations and mysterious idiosyncrasies which deepen the mystery. Who did it? Who did it? Who knows? The unseen managers of Earth, whoever that is. So I don't really have a great guess for who did this, unfortunately. But why? Why would someone create a bunch of silly patterns? What would they gain by bewildering us? Well, I'm not quite sure. I can only guess, really. But ultimately, for control, probably, people are more controllable when they're confused and disoriented. And controlling other people is one way to procure abundance. More of the good shit, less of the bad shit. More output for less input. More dividend for less effort. More lavish indulgence. Less labor and inconvenience. So, if setting up a big attention trap or confusion matrix made it so that you could have more reward for less expended energy, then you would do it. <laughs> Humans may be a resource to supply entertainment, spiritual energy, etc. So there's the idea from the matrix of humans as a battery or something like that. Uh, possibly, who knows. A steady supply of subjugated people also increases contrast, boosting self-importance and providing a stable sense of victory. So the tracks and all those strange patterns in stone and stuff, they might be part of a false scenario or a controlled environment where someone gets to maintain a winner's seat or winner's circle membership and we the the subjects we kind of flounder about not really knowing what's going on and then that dichotomy of two different classes or two or more different classes creates a sense of contrast and it carves out a space for a feeling of self-importance of winning or of power, you know, lust for power, power is the ultimate aphrodisiac, something like that. So like in the Hunger Games, the capital city has all the resources and that wouldn't mean much without the poor cities on the outside, the districts. So if you're in the capital and particularly in a position of power, you get this big inflated sense of awesomeness. Uh, and a lavish lifestyle and all that and that's all substrated by the necessary have-nots. I mean it's an age-old archetype but perhaps the big head spin of the tracks and all the strange patterns is one layer of a gravitational attractor which keeps us at a certain dumbed-down level of development, cognitive and spiritual and all that. So uh, the more confused we are, the more manageable we are, would be the idea. Imagine a perpetual playground to play in, with the odds forever stacked in your favor, like the show Westworld, perhaps, a theme park. So again, maybe Earth is just a place to come and play. <laughs> You have a bunch of dummies, aka us, who don't really know what reality is, or how to think, or where we are, or how we got to be the way we are, what our history is, anything like that. And then there's all sorts of strange games you can play within that context. So, like the show Westworld, we are the hosts, more or less. 
then the guests come in and they can take on a character and you know be famous for a day or who knows i'm just spitballing here basically these are just some possibilities i can only guess as to the why of it all and there are many more possibilities as well these are just some of my top guesses and one more good guess is maybe someone did this just as an experiment of some kind like a shock test again we can only guess at this point but possibly all the silly patterns we see and all the nonsense which kind of amounts to something kind of amounts to nothing maybe all that is just a somewhat random experiment to see how we react or respond to it maybe there's no real malevolence behind it maybe there's even no particular lust for power or power dynamic behind it or desire for control of humans maybe that's not even a factor maybe it's just an experiment and i can't say i'm a fan of it <laughs> but uh then again it's all kind of amusing from another perspective so okay that'll do it for this video and check back in the next video for some analysis of specific tracks examples all right see ya